movements have narratives. They tell stories because they're not just about rearranging economics and politics. They also rearrange meaning. And they're not just about redistributing the goods. They're about figuring out what is good. Marshall Gantz. Throughout your life, from infancy to adulthood and beyond, your brain has been taken in narratives, whatever form they may be, from books, movies, TV, music, and even video games. You have been absorbing stories of characters, plots, and themes. If we accept that a person's upbringing and environment can change who they are as they grow up, then do narratives change our outlook on the world? Thus enters narrative transportation theory. It is said that stories with compelling narratives invites people into their worlds and conflicts. And so, while not applicable to everyone, some people will lose themselves and enter the wardrobe into Narnia. They will feel like they are right next to the characters through their struggles and triumphs. They will come to believe in whatever the protagonist believes in. All narratives do end eventually, and when it does, the person who experienced such an adventure will mentally return to his or her world with a slightly different mindset. Mentally, they feel like they were just part of a grander story, and this included being invested in whatever battles the heroes fought. This investment opens people up to new beliefs and ideologies, whether it be vague beliefs in justice, good and evil and love, or a specific belief that is found in our world, like some political system or some philosophy. While a person will not always change their real world beliefs based on a story, more likely than not, you will change your mind or reconsider at least one of your core beliefs or values. Some writers and artists are aware of this and meticulously plan out how the story will go in order to draw people in, using ethos, pathos, and logos to serve the characters and their actions and values throughout the tale. There are multiple examples of narratives that have drawn people in and changed them. Religious texts like the Bible or fictional series like Harry Potter. Any piece of media can have this mental effect on people. Now that the theory is explained, have you experienced this effect? Some rarely do, while others have this happen to them all the time. Personally, it happens a few times to you to me. Hope you learned something new today. I don't know what the next video will be on, but until then, may God bless your soul.